Let's solve a couple of questions on intensity variation in a double slit interference experiment. Here is the first question. Now it says that in a double slit experiment, the two light waves arrive with different phase differences at various points on the screen, which is true, right? Because we get bright fringes, we also get dark fringes. And it says that the intensity of the central bright fringe is K units. What is the intensity at a point where the phase difference is pi by four? And it's given that the intensity of light coming from the two slits is equal. All right, before I get into this, why don't you pause the video and give this one a try. All right, hopefully we have given this a try. Now in this one, the question says that we need to figure out the intensity at a point where the phase difference is pi by four. And we know the intensity of the central bright fringe, which is K units. So first of all, let's write the relation using which we calculate the intensity. And that is given by the intensity at a point that is equal to four I naught, which is the intensity of the light coming in into cos square phi, which is a phase difference divided by two. This is five by two. Now we know that the intensity of the central bright fringe is K units. And we also know that the phase difference at all the bright fringes is in multiples of it is in multiples of two pi's and at the central bright fringe, it is just zero degrees. So if you put in this value, if you put in this value over here, let's see what do we get? So we get the intensity at the central bright fringe that is K units. This is equal to four I naught into cos square, cos square zero divided by two, which is just zero. And we know that cos zero is one. So cos square zero degrees also one. So it turns out K is equal to four, four I naught. Let's, let's call this our first equation. This might be useful to us later because we can see the options are in terms of K. So we have somehow established a relation between the intensity of light coming in and K itself. Now the question is to figure out the intensity at a point where the phase difference is pi by four. Now Delta phi or phi, this is pi by four. So let's, let's plug in that in this relation and see what do we get? We have the intensity at the point where the phase difference is pi by four. This is equal to four I naught into cos square, cos square pi by four divided by two. So that becomes pi by eight. In place of I naught, let's, let's substitute K by four using the first relation. I naught is equal to K by four. So when we do that, this is four into K by four into cos square, cos square pi by eight. Now uh, cos square pi by eight is a little difficult to figure out. So if you have a calculator, if you're using one, then right way you can see that this will be 0 0.85. But without using the calculator, we can, what we can do is, uh, we know that two cos square phi, so one identity, one trigonometric identity is two cos square phi by two, this is equal to one plus cos phi. So what we can do is we can take one, two from this four, and write this as two cos square pi by eight. So two cos square pi by eight, this will be equal to one plus cos pi by four. And one plus cos pi by four will be one plus one by root two, because that is what cos pi by four is. And so one plus one by root two, one by root two will be 0 0.707. So this is 1.7. So two cos square pi by eight, this comes out to be equal to 1.7. And now what we can do is we can plug that back over here. This is two into K by four. We took one, two from this four and, and just wrote this, wrote it before cos square so that we get this identity. And in place of two cos square pi by eight, we have, we have 1.7. So this is equal to 3.4 K divided by four. When we remove this decimal, this becomes 34 K divided by 40. So this is 17 K divided by 20. And that makes this the right answer as option C. All right, let's move on to a next question now. So the second one says, consider the interference experiment below. The displacement graphs of the light waves at the slits S1 and S2 look like the following. The intensity of a maximum is W units. Okay. And the question is to figure out the intensity at the point O. And this is, this is the point O right at the center point O on the screen. There is a note which says O lies on the perpendicular bisector of S1, S2. 
which basically means that it is right at the center at the center of these two slits and it also says that the intensity of light coming from the two slits are equal okay again before i get into this maybe try attempt this one on your own first all right hopefully you have given this a shot one thing that we can clearly see when we look at these two displacement graphs is that the two waves they have they are they are not in sync at the source slits or it seems that they have a phase difference they have some phase difference between them so this point o right here it might not be a maximum because light is traveling the same amount of distance from s1 and s2 till o but they are out of phase from each other let's calculate how precisely are they out of phase if you try to draw this displacement graph at s1 on top of s2 it will look like this and using this using this we can try and figure out how much are they out of phase so if we drop a line like this this right here would be pi by 2 and this right here could be pi so we can see that they they are they are pi by 2 that phase difference between them is pi by 2 that is delta phi or they are 1 by 4th cycle apart from each other now we know the intensity of a maximum that is that is w units and the phase difference always at a maximum the phase difference always at a maximum is 0 degrees or it could be 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi so intensity at the maximum that is w this is equal to this is equal to 4 i naught into cos square cos square phi by 2 and cos square phi by 2 at a maximum this will always be 1 so i naught this is equal to w by 4 now we need to figure out the intensity at the point o so let's let's do that intensity at o this is equal to this is equal to 4 i naught which is the intensity at both of these slits into cos square cos square pi by 2 since the light from the two source slits is traveling the same distance till the point o the phase difference between them still remains as pi by 2 none of the light travels an extra distance so that that could lead to some extra part difference and finally some change in phase difference so if we write in place of phi if we write pi by 2 this becomes cos square cos square pi by 4 because there is a by 2 already present and cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so cos square pi by 4 would be that would be 1 by 2 so this is 4 i naught into 1 by 2 and this becomes this becomes 2 i naught and we already know that i naught is given by w by 4 so this is this is equal to 2 into w by 4 and the final answer the intensity at point o this comes out to be equal to w by 2. all right you can try more questions from this exercise in this lesson and if you're watching on YouTube, do check out the exercise link which is added in the description.